Hey guys, David here and welcome to Digital Outlook. Guys, in today's show, Brad Garlinghouse breaks silence over crypto White House meeting. So guys, let's get to it. So guys, just before we start our video today and with some great information, I have a big time security and service announcement for the community. Guys, there is a major email going around telling folks, hey, listen, you're going to lose access to your Ledger wallet if you don't supply the following KYC. And guys, I have literally got it myself. And what I want to show you is it's right here. And you can see this. It looks authentic. It says your wallet is about to be suspended. Apply for KYC verification. And this it says we are writing to inform you that in order to continue using our wallet service, it is important to obtain KYC know your customer verification. KYC verification helps us to ensure blah 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 on and on and on. And then they want you to click this start now guys, it is an absolute scam. Do not fall for it. Do not worry. You are not going to lose access to your assets utilizing your ledger because ledger is not necessarily just your wallet. It's the access. Your assets are on the blockchain and you do not need to worry about getting it suspended. You can even go to ledger and see this for yourself. So guys, I wanted to get that out there right, right at the tip top. And hey guys, by the way, as we go through the video, hit the like and subscribe and get this this out to as many eyes as possible because it is so vitally important that we all stay ahead of the curve. So guys, one thing that we all know right now is that there has been a big time buzz going around with this meeting happening in Washington with all of these digital asset leaders like Brad Garlinghouse, Mark Cuban, and all these different ones with a ton of various political folks way at the tip top, senators and the like. And guys, Brad Garlinghouse has come out there and broken the silence on what was going on in that meeting. Just check this article out right over here. Ripple CEO Brad Garlinghouse breaks silence on Crypto White House Roundtable. Ripple Labs Inc. CEO Brad Garlinghouse has finally spoken out about the roundtable meeting he and other crypto leaders attended earlier on Wednesday. Now, Democratic Congressman Ro Khanna organized a roundtable discussion on cryptocurrency regulations and invited the likes of Garlinghouse and American businessman Mark Human Guys. This is my take on it. I really believe that the reason these Democrats have come out there and they are now inviting it is they're trying to kind of sweeten the pots, you know, bring us in kind of like, you know, woo us into their corner because they know we finally have a voice and this digital asset space is a hot topic on this next election ticket. Now listen to this. Ro Khanna is certain that the meeting would set the pace for the introduction of a robust crypto regulatory framework in the United States. Now, since the meeting was held, not much has been said about it. However, Garlinghouse took to X to appreciate Ro Khanna's effort. And this is what he says. Thank you to Ro Khanna for being an exceptional leader and engaging with the crypto industry. This morning's crypto roundtable bringing together folks like Mark Cuban, Paul Paul Gruel and Dante Desparte, etc., with the White House and key congressional leaders such as Senator Gillibrand. Now, the Ripple CEO confirmed that Mark that Cuban was in the meeting alongside Co alongside Coin Coinbase Chief Legal Officer Paul Gruel and Circle's Chief Strategy Officer Dante Desparte, of course, Circle USDC. Now, some leaders from the White House and key Congress members like. Senator Kristen Gillibrand and Assistant Democratic Leader of the House of Representatives Joe Negussi were also in attendance. Fox Business reporter Eleanor Terrett stated that Anita Dunn, the senior advisor to the President of the United States, was in the meeting for about an hour.
hour. So obviously this meeting went for more than just one hour. Now Tarrant highlighted that the initial reaction of participants was that it was a productive step forward. However, many crypto enthusiasts, they don't agree, citing the fact that Democrats are not ready to accept crypto wholeheartedly and one person for sure, one Democrat for sure has to be Senator Elizabeth Warren. I mean, guys, this woman literally came out and said that we in this digital asset space are either a bunch of tax cheaters and potential fraudsters. Never recanted that, never apologized. That's what they think of us. And of course, that's why they're getting hacks over there to kind of like take shots at John Deaton, who has been out there and supporting you and I in this digital asset space in a big way. And guys, I just believe that this is political theater now. Even Ripple CEO shared this same sentiment. This is what Brad Garlinghouse majority about the majority of democrats he believes that they are in on the gary gensler's efforts towards oh ah effort towards through the securities and exchange commission to sabotage the crypto ecosystem now listen to this unfortunately the majority of dems continue to enable gensler's unlawful war on crypto sabotaging the ability for american innovation to thrive it's no wonder that the gop has announced a pro crypto stance gensler will go down as the light luddite of his time garlinghouse explained the stance of the democrats on crypto crypto has been quite obvious. Even in the campaign efforts of the presidential candidates for the upcoming elections, Republican nominee Donald Trump has voiced his plans to give support to crypto companies. His rival, Joe Biden, from the Democrats Party, on the other hand, has nominated anti-crypto Democrats Caroline Crenshaw for the second term as an SEC commissioner. Right there. Though some other Democrats were at Ro Canada's roundtable crypto meeting, Americans do not see them as changing their minds about crypto anytime soon. And guys, I could not agree more. I believe that this was just an absolute theater to woo us, this space, into, you know, supporting these guys. But they have been absolutely against us practically from day one. And guys, this is where our voice, you can obviously see this is a big deal. Finally, finally, this space has gained enough traction that our voice matters. And that's a big deal. Now, something else that's on the on the table right now is this something big about to happen for XRP. Now, this came out in, uh, just today. And this is what people are thinking right now. Widely follow crypto pun pundit. Crypto BitLord boldly asserts that XRP is on the verge of experiencing something magnificent enough to impact these prices. Now, he's been in the space for over a decade, and he voices this bullish sentiment in a recent post on X. Specifically, the post warned market participants that something big is about to happen to XRP, suggesting the need to strategically position for the impact. Now, the bull claim comes amid XRP's discouraging price performance well guys you have got to see what a lot of these ta folks are saying that we are literally mirroring what happened in 2017 where wit was just tinkering along and we are right at the threshold where this thing could literally explode now since this bull for instance after bitcoin set the stage prominent altcoins like ethereum solana came close to surpassing their previous all-time highs in march in contrast xrp only rallied to selling 74 cents below its yearly high and lost steam the following day now xrp trades at 43.91 nursing a nine percent loss in value since the past week However, prominent market watchers like Crypto BitLord be believe a turnaround is imminent. In response to his uh, tweet, community members are speculating about the nature of the anticipated significant event. Now, Ido Farina, he's thinking, hey, you know, we've seen a lot of significant things already happen. And he pointed out that XRP is the only cryptocurrency, of course, with regulatory clarity in the U.S. and that the World Bank has categorized it as a stablecoin suitable for cross-border payments. Additionally, he noted that the automated market maker is now live on the XRP ledger. Now, guys, I want to throw this out there. Every Monday at 12 noon, we broadcast live the turning point, and that's myself, 
the Black Swan Capitalist, Versan, and Vandel Ajera and Ido Farina. Guys, it's a show you want to tune into. It is amazing. And we go for about an hour. We talk about all these current events every Monday at 12 noon. It's broadcasted live on the Digital Outlook channel on Black Swan Capitalist, Ido Farina. It is amazing, guys. Now, here are some likely events. Now, of course, this is all people throwing out their conjecture. But meanwhile, commentator Alex Cobb highlighting crucial and pending developments as likely events. Topping the list is the final judgment, of course, in the SEC Ripple lawsuit. Notably, the litigants have both submitted their points for what what fine is appropriate for Ripple's violation of federal securities law? And now that, of course, is pending the judge's blessing. Now, attorney Fred Rispoli, as we all know, recently suggested that Judge Annalisa Torres might make the final decision either the 31st of this month or poetically on July 13th. The latter date, yep, holds poetic relevance to July 13th when the judge ruled that XRP is not a security, a landmark decision that saw XRP soar by about 100% in 24 hours, reaching that 93 cent range. Now, another point Cobb cited is a potential BlackRock ETF. Now, I think a lot of people are out there and I really don't think that we're going to see this right away. That does not mean, guys, that it is never coming. Because I do believe one day, not only are we going to see this, but like Brad Garlinghouse has said, we may even see a basket of these things inside ETFs. And it'll really be amazing. Now, though this prospect is less likely, close industry observers believe a Solana ETF would precede that of XRP. Indeed, asset manager, manager Van Eck has already filed a Solana ETF with other issues expected to follow suit. Lastly, Cobb suggested that a major bank adoption announcement from Ripple or any institutional player seeking to leverage XRP could be on the horizon. Guys, you feel it in the atmosphere. I mean, that's conjecture for sure. But I'll tell you what, you can literally feel the electricity going right through this space. You know that something is on the horizon. You want confluence of that? Check this out right here. Whales, scoop up now. Get this 550 million XRP as retail dumps, fueling speculation of a retail shakeout. Now, XRP whales have procured a whopping 550 million XRP. Guys, that accounts for 225 million in two weeks as smaller addresses sell off their bags, fueling speculation of a retail shakeout. Amid the market downturn, XRP is witnessing mixed sentiment across different tiers of investor. The behavior exhibited by these addresses compounded speculation around a retail shakeout by institutions. Guys, when you get into this and you see what is going on, it is truly amazing. I mean, 550 million. Do you think that these whales that are literally pouring millions, hundreds of millions into accumulating XRP are shaking in their boots right now? No. What's going on is you got a narrative of fear, uncertainty, and doubt getting out there and trying to shake out the retail investor. Folks that have just a few thousand into it, do you realize 70% of all XRP wallets hold less than 1,000 XRP? And if you are above that, you are really ahead of the curve. Guys, they got this narrative, oh, they're not going to let us get rich. That is just absolute hogwash. Few, few people are into XRP when you take a look at the whole global scenario that we're dealing with. And I'll tell you what, the potential that I see down the road is mind numbing. And it certainly reminds me of a lot of other times. And think about this. How many of us were there at the burgeoning of the internet? Hey, we were having kids back then. Do you know what? Most people literally laughed at it. They were like making fun of what an email was and all this and that. Few people had the foresight to see what the internet was going to be. And in fact, it has even reached to this level where you and I can interact the way that we are. They never even fathomed that. Guys, look at how it exploded. Just a little investment and a few companies down there would have revolutionized your life. What about the home computer going back even further? I remember my dad gave me one of these Timex Sinclair little old 
you know, thing like that. Do you know most people looked at the home computer back then as a toy, as practically a novelty, not seeing how a little investment in some little known company like Microsoft or Apple could have revolutionized their lives. And boy, oh boy, did it ever change the wide world. Guys, we are watching the future literally unfold right before our very eyes. And I'll tell you what, like I say, I am not going to miss. I missed a lot of ones back there, but I am not missing this one. And boy, I'll tell you what, when I get out there and I share my convictions, you're getting my 100% biased opinion. No doubt about it, guys. I'm encouraging you. Go up there, dig it out, see what's going on. Look down the road. Don't be buffaloed by all the little nuances and the day-to-day -day little price. Is anybody out there right now, are you out there buying XRP at like 30 cents, 40 cents, 50 cents, so you could sell it at a buck 25? <laughs> I highly doubt it. I highly doubt it. Guys, just hold fast. Don't let them buffalo you and shake you out because I'll tell you what, if these whales are willing to risk hundreds and hundreds of millions of dollars, then I'll tell you what, I don't follow their advice. I follow their behavior. But you get out there and you do your own research. Guys, I'm telling you what, I want you standing right there in the middle of that winter circle when we cross that finish line so guys right now this space could literally take off at any time and one thing is for certain you want to have your plan in place when it does and what our coaching program offers that is where you and i can meet personally one-on-one -on -one for one hour over zoom and during that time i share with you our personal journey in that last bull run and what enabled Judy and I to experience some amazing financial success. I share with you the mistakes we made so that you don't have to fall into the same pitfalls we did. We take a look at your portfolio and make sure that it's balanced towards your goals and we work together to develop your exit strategy. We can even get your assets off an exchange and onto a hardware wallet along with with delivering to you some amazing techniques that are really going to help you in this space. Now, the cost of that is $250. And if that's something that interests you, you write me right there at coaching at the digital outlook.com and we'll get y'all booked in. So guys, I truly hope that you enjoyed today's video. And as always, it's not financial advice. It's just my two cents. Hit the like and subscribe and drop your comments right down there in the comment section. And I'll catch you in the next one.